I'm here with RJ San Miguel and his trainer David to ask them a couple questions about how they prepared for this fight. So RJ, can you tell me a little bit about what you did in regards to preparing as far as diet, exercise, things like that? Uh, I just ate clean, basically no fast food, no just no anything, not anything greasy, you know. I just ate clean, and then uh, I just did my regular wrestling workouts, like sprints and uh, like wrestled for like a whole hour and everything. That's so definitely worked on some cardio then. Yeah, cardio yeah, for sure, sprints, everything. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. And David, what was what was the reason behind this? What was your uh, game plan, so to speak, going into this? Well, RJ is probably a wrestler. He can tell in this fight. He's been wrestling for a long time, and at the gym, he takes everybody down. A lot bigger guys all the time, so. You know, he's kind of new to boxing. We're still bringing him up in boxing. So the game plan was to go in there, wrestle, take him down, and he'll pretty much stay on top and pound him out. Gotcha. Yeah. So then would you say that your strong suit is more wrestling? What yeah. What are you most comfortable with? I'm more comfortable with wrestling, yeah, because I've, I've been wrestling for years, so gotcha. it's helped me out a lot. Yeah, <laughs> definitely it's a good foundation to have, especially for MMA. It's a definite need. Yeah. Okay, now as far as the fight, there was a minute there where they were saying it was kind of a tie and they had to break it with the official, the table judge. How did you feel about that? I, I think I won both rounds. I won, I won, I dominated the first two rounds and then I just caught, uh, I, I slipped a little bit on the on the third round, but I, I think I won both both rounds, so. Yeah, I, think, I think he clearly won two rounds. Yeah. One round was even close. The third round, it was close, close. RJ rocked the guy in the third round. Look, I could have won that round, but it was close, but he clearly won two rounds where I don't know the judge what they're looking at. Yeah. They're probably drinking a little bit before the fight, but, <laughs> you know. Everybody needs a drink before the fight, you know? Yeah, but not a couple too many before the fight. <laughs> not enough to impair your vision. Yeah, exactly. But RJ clearly won that fight. David, now what was your counsel from the corner? What were you, what were some things that you were definitely yelling out so that RJ could hear? Well, I want him to set up his, his take a little more, throw a couple of jabs here and there and kind of set him up. He was just diving in a little bit too much. And so keep the pace up. To keep taking him down, working. He, he, um, RJ wasn't really posting out too much some of those times, so he was able to get rolled. So he didn't post out. I wanted to keep his post, stay on top, work a little more to the body, and just keep the intensity to the fight. And RJ, how did you feel? Did you feel like you could do anything better for next time, or you know, what what did you think to improve on? Oh, just better positioning, you know, like just uh, more more pressure on on top when I'm on and I'm ground and pounding, you know. So that's that's about it. Well, congratulations on it. You did wonderful, and I thank you both for taking the time to interview with us. Thank you. Thank you. Join us next time for IEMMA.